it is Friday morning. This is our weekend vlog and we're at Target right now. I saw a TikTok that said that they have Miss Rachel pajamas at Target now, but they don't have them in the app yet. So we are running into Target to see if we can find the PJ. I promised myself I wasn't gonna buy anything but the pajamas, but they have these like cute little summer stuff. Like look at these little fruit balls. They got some kids sunglasses. Yeah. You want them? <laughs> I keep running across cute stuff. Look at this bluey and bingo little toddler set. And then the maternity dresses were 30% off. So I grabbed this little two piece set. It's a little crop top with like um, a high waisted skirt. That's what is hiding behind here, behind the Mickeys. We have the Miss Rachel pajamas. It has Miss Rachel with the striped pants. Look at this side, you can match Miss Rachel. This is so cute. But they are long sleeves and it's already hot, so I'm gonna grab these in the next size up. He can wear these this winter. So I'm getting them in a 3T. We got Miss Rachel. Yeah. yeah. I know some people will say these are technically girls, but I don't believe in girl and boy colors, and he really loves Miss Rachel. Next up, we're at Trader Joe's. Okay, so we didn't do much recording inside Trader Joe's. I didn't do any recording because Stinky was losing his patience with me in our shenanigans running around this morning. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. That's a lot for Trader Joe's. What happened was I was a little overwhelmed by like the fussing and trying to keep him calm that I just kind of threw things in the cart without thinking and I got like everything I saw. I also got a bunch for Auntie Amber because she has been helping us out a lot lately and I appreciate all her help. So I wanted to make sure she had some goodies. All right, let's get dinner started. I got this spatchcock chicken at Trader Joe's. It's like a literal whole chicken. So this is what we're gonna make for dinner. I'm starting by chopping these little mini potatoes in half. And then all of the little potatoes are going into a Ziploc bag. I'm going to season them in the bag. I don't know, I think it makes things easier. Also going into the bag are a bunch of baby carrots. I'm going to drizzle this all with olive oil. Look, this olive oil, it's Trader Joe's. It's Trader Joe's extra virgin olive oil, but it's not anymore. It used to be, but then I ran out and I liked the bottle so much that I just refill it with like whatever olive oil I can find. And then once everything is coated in the olive oil, I'm pouring in this Kinder's caramelized onion butter seasoning. I'm pouring in a bunch of this and we are going to close it up, close the bag and shake it up. Okay, next we are working on our chicken. Oh, I do not prefer working with whole chicken. It's just, but listen, I'm in my Nara Smith era right now. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna move these lemon slices so I can season the chicken. This was already marinated, so I just wanna add like a little bit more flavor. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And then we're gonna put these onions right back on top. There's a lot of like chicken juice in this pan, and I'm not sure if I should have drained it, but I'm gonna leave it. I feel like there's flavor in it. And then I just poured all the carrots and potatoes back into the pan. Is the pan too crowded? She wondered. But she does not know, so we're just gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna cook this for one hour and 15 minutes at 375 degrees. That's what the package said to do, so that's what we're doing. Look at this, a whole chicken, bones and everything. I am Betty Crocker, Martha Stewart, Nara Smith, all of the above. Okay, so it is now Saturday morning and my nephew turns three today. Happy birthday, Braylon. But um, his birthday party is this afternoon and we did not get him a gift yet. So I'm at Walmart to see if I can find like a fun toy. Okay, of course I had to get sidetracked because I saw someone on TikTok wear like Walmart pajamas and I'm a 4th of July baby, so I wanted the 4th of July pajamas. And then I also saw these like linen pants that I thought they were really cute. And this black sundress. I'm in like a dress season because like I'm super pregnant and it's uncomfortable to wear anything on my waist. But the fitting rooms are not open right now so I can't try them on. My husband asked me to get him a pack of white t-shirts. I'm also just going to grab a black t-shirt just in case. He wanted a pack of Hanes white t-shirt crew neck in size large and they do not have a single pair of size large. You know what, they don't have Hanes, but they do have these George tees. 
I'm gonna grab these. It's something. Oh my god, look at these chairs. I'm getting one for my son. I should actually get two. I should get one for for my nephew when he comes over this summer. Okay, now we're finally in the toy aisle. For birthdays and stuff, I give all of my nieces and nephews like a $50 budget. So that's what I'm aiming to spend. We have a little flexibility though. I just got hit on. Okay, in the toy aisle. Six months pregnant. Anyway, I don't know if he has anything like this. Like it's a little race car set with the track on it. So like the cars go loop de loop. I'm gonna put this in the cart for now. It's only 15 bucks, so we could buy more things. Okay, or look at this one. This is from Disney Pixar Cars. It's a little track with like a bunch of little Hot Wheels. I don't know if he's gotten into Hot Wheels and like little cars yet. He's really into blocks, but I got him a really nice block set for Christmas. So I don't want to like do more blocks. I think he's got like a lot of blocks. Okay, and this is kind of cool. Like the cars make like little jumps, like there's a ramp where the cars jump off and land back on the track. I don't know, I think this is cool. This is definitely going in the cart for now. Okay, but here's what I don't know. The brand on this is Global Racers Cup, GRP, GRC, Global Racers Cup. That's not Hot Wheels. Does that mean it's not compatible with Hot Wheels? And is Hot Wheels like the main like brand? Like, am I gonna get him this and then he can't use any other cars with it, you know? That's my concern. I lied, the brand is not GRC. That's what the track is called. The brand is just Disney Pixar cars, so I can pick any of these, like this one. You know, I can pick more cars to go with it. As this set only comes with two cars, I feel like I should get him more cars. These kids grow up so fast. I feel like just yesterday I was buying him like word party stuffed animals, and now I'm doing like full on race cars. Okay, we're here at Dave and Buster's for the party. And I didn't have any tissue paper at home, so I'm gonna real quick just add some tissue paper to the gift. It is real windy to be doing this. Okay, that's it. We are done. We're ready to go in. I looked at the Dave and Buster's menu before we got here, and it looked like really good food. You ready? You hungry? Ready. I'm hungry. Let's go. What is that? Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Until someone tells me we have to move, we're gonna hang out here. Hello! Yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? He's so crazy. Where are you going? Hello! Hey, Boo Boo. Hey! Where are we at? Are we at Dave and Buster's? There's a lot to look at around here, huh? Ooh, you got maracas! Big boy! I know it's loud, but we need to go play some games or this baby is gonna raise hell. 30! You won! You guys, I'm so sorry, but I 
I completely fell off of finishing this three-day weekend vlog because we got hit with the flu yesterday like a like a ton of bricks. I'm feeling a lot better today. Not 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better. But I think we must have picked something up at Dave & Buster's because my husband's been down bad. I've been down bad. Lordy's down bad. Like, whew. Being sick with a toddler is just so much harder than being sick, like, on your own. You know what I mean? Because, like, no matter how bad you feel, like, he feels worse. And you can't, like, take care of yourself for real because you guys have to be taking care of him. And it's just so hard. This is the first time, like, Lurdy's been, like, really sick. And it's definitely the first time we've all been sick at the same time and, like, having to manage trying to make ourselves better plus, like, make the baby more comfortable and... <sighs> but the next couple weekends, there's a lot going on. I have my baby shower coming up in a couple weeks. There's just a lot more for you guys to see. Thank you so much for watching these little vlogs I've been doing. I appreciate you endlessly.